Welcome, honor guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is another comment video. Okay, let's get started because I'm at work and it's not even lunchtime yet, but I got done with my morning stuff so early. So, you know, I was like, well, let me see if I got time to record. Hopefully, it don't nobody come in or bother me while I'm doing this. Uh, Nikisha says, Sky's last name changed a few times. It's the same character. She was on All My Children, One Life to Live, and General Hospital. I love Sky. I welcome her back any day. Nah, they can leave her wherever she is. I mean, if she been, I do remember her mostly on All My Children and vaguely on One Life to Live. I mean, if they'd already done dragged her across all three soaps and took her off, what would she come back to do? Like, for what? But they bringing back everybody else. I wouldn't be surprised. Penny Weston says, and the Christmas miracle would be Nina saving Willow's life with a transplant or whatever. Willow's grateful baby okay singing joy to the world we need a pretty christmas wedding with somebody yes yes okay I, that would be really good if nina and willow could come together as mother and daughter with sasha in the mix because they're friends they would be great sisters like everybody wants nina to adopt sasha i think that's a great idea i hope somebody on the show brings it up or she thinks of it oh i want that to happen so much and i think the beautiful wedding could be between willow and michael even though I know that's not going to happen because once they find out that Nina's her mom, it's going to cause so much tension between them. It's not even going to be funny. But they're the only couple that I would like to see get married and you know it'll be a grand wedding. Oh, no. What if Holly and Scorpio, they might remarry? Like after we figure out, because we know it's something going on with her. We'll talk about that in the recap of Monday's and Tuesday's um, episode today, I promise. Um. Maybe after we can figure out what's going on with her, maybe they'll get remarried. I don't know. Put it in the comments. Who do you want to see get married? A Christmas wedding. Who could it be? Good one, Penny. Kathleen Rogers says it might be fun if Roy is the hooker and tries to attack Trina, but Spencer shows up to save the day. Just saying, I don't know who the hooker is, but do think it all has something to do with Trina. This is why it's possible that Cameron may be attacked next because he's friends with Trina. Remember for a while, Cameron... Cam tricked Esme into thinking that they were still friends. That would be revenge. Anyone notice that Cam has no story other than Joss's boyfriend, and that's going to change. I I know that the actor is in college, but I don't see the character storyline going anywhere. Um, well, yeah, for sure, Cameron is going to be the next target. We probably won't see him for a minute after this because they're going to make it like he's recovering. It's still going to be more about Elizabeth and what she's going to be going through. Even after Cameron gets hooked, I hope this doesn't send Elizabeth spiraling. Uh, also, and then we might be able to see Jake and the other boys more too. Um, what else did you say? Yeah, uh, Spencer is supposed to save Trina from Rory. It was either a sexual attack or... He's going to try to attack her, and Spencer is supposed to save her. I don't really have the details about what it was because I was against the, you know, the S attack. I was like, I don't want to see that. But, you know, somebody also mentioned that they could go to Luke and Laura route with Trina and Spencer. And if that's the case, you know, that was a part of her story. So we'll just have to see. But Spencer is supposed to save her from something. And hopefully when Cameron comes out of this, they'll give him more of a story because by the time he, rec because this is going to slow down Joss's relationship with Dex because Joss was ready to break up with Cameron, remember? So we'll have to just see. Kathleen Rogers says, wasn't Franco's mom, Betsy Frank? And then Linda responds. She says, I think she raised him. Yeah, she adopted him. Uh, CT Traveler says, okay, after this episode on 11-1, I dislike Nina even more. She acts like a teenage girl, all giddy. Yeah, she does. Her boy stuck up for her. I can't stand Sunny and Nee Nuts. <laughs> Holly is once again a dirty double crosser, but Ethan is on his way to Port Charles. Not sure where this Liz stuff is going. Not sure if I care. Thank God Laura is back. She needs to straighten everyone out in Port Charles. And yes, this is so fun. I was so excited to see Laura and Kevin. Oh my God, I love them together so much. I'm so glad they found somebody to put her with other than Luke that we all like to see her with. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to lie. It took me a minute. Like when they were trying to put her and Scott together for a minute, it, it was I was like, dang, find somebody else. This is perfect. When Kevin came in dressed like the priest, oh, I can't wait to the recap. I promise I'm going to get to it today. 
Um, and yeah, Nina. Oh, Nina. You know, I would, I just, you're right. She acts absolutely stupid when it comes to Sonny and Nina and uh, Carly and Nero's kids. Like, just shut up. Just don't say anything. Just stay in your place. Mind your business when it comes to them. Like Carly said, listen, anything I got to say about my daughter, I'll talk to Sonny about. Like, shut up. Ugh. Yeah, this is when, like I said, you guys, I like Nina's character, just not when it involves Sonny and Carly because she's so smug. She's so nanny poo poo. Like, girl. Uh, Michael Armstrong says Sky was told by her mother, Ray, that her biological father was Alan Quartermain. This turned out to be a lie. Alan went ahead and adopted her. Thank you for that. I do remember her being adopted by Alan Quartermain. But again, my opinion hasn't changed. What do we need her back for to do what? Um, Eileen says that's who it is. She first was on All My Children, then One Life to Live, where she finds out she's Ray's daughter. I don't know what happened on GH because I stopped watching I can't remember what happened to Sky's character on GH because she was kind of boring. People like her, don't come for me if this was one of your favorite characters, sorry. But people like her character are only good around other characters. Like, I liked her when she was Adam's daughter. She was a spoiled little girl. They don't need to bring her back. I'm straight on Sky. Uh, Linda says, great. Someone I like is being framed by someone I hate. Couldn't see <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see that coming. It's like the writers think we have amnesia. Another plot line I'm sick of. Also, why with all the comebacks do they not bring Lucy back? He has he has to be the worst absentee father ever. Oh, Lucky back. I'm sorry. <laughs> why don't they bring Lucky back? He has to be the worst absentee father ever. <laughs> I agree. You know what? They might bring Lucky back um, because of what's going on in Port Charles with the hooker and everybody. But he is a bad dad. Like, they don't even mention that he called to check on the kids, do they? Uh, Patty says, I think she was adopted by Alan. Yes, her mom's guy. He adopted her crazy self. Artist 61. Hey, she says, so how old is Finn? Listen, artist, we did a whole video. I was just as confused as you. How old is Finn if Liz was 15 when she pushed his wife down the stairs? And Linda says, Ethan is Holly's son and and Luke's son. Yeah. Um, I, like I said, I, we did a video about that before. Sorry, I had to uh, check an email. The thing about the age is like, because remember, Finn used to date Alexis. And now he's dating Elizabeth. And I think they're all supposed to be around the same age. He may supposedly be a few years older. I don't know, right? Because now that Alexis is with his father, they look like they the same age. So, you know, it's weird. I I really don't know. Um, 179 CPV says, based on today's episode, it does look like Holly is working with Victor. I'm assuming that's who she was talking to on the phone. Yes, most definitely. We'll talk about it. I don't think she's brainwashed, though. Seems more like she's being uh, coerced. This leads credits to the theory that Victor is holding Ethan hostage and using the fact to blackmail Holly into helping with his plan. Yeah. If not Victor, somebody that works for Victor. Because she's do you guys think she really doesn't know who Victor was? Like, was that her first time actually seeing him when she slapped him? But, yeah, we're definitely going to talk about that phone call that she made um, and how she's been acting when we talk about the recap. Reese says, I would bet money that Holly was the one who shot Lucy because if they would blow up the picture, if they would blow up the picture of the person who shot Lucy, they would see that it was Holly. So who was under Victor's control? Holly seems a little bit off and it's kind of like Dante when Leslie had, when Lisa had programmed Dante to kill Peter. I don't think Holly is programmed after yesterday's episode. Like I, I think she, um, somebody is holding Ethan hostage or something is going on. And I do think it was Holly that shot Lucy wearing a mask. Definitely. Robin says Monica was a bit... Monica was a bit of a runaround back in the day. Yes, Monica, listen, we know Monica was something else. She cheated on Jeff Weber with Rick Weber, whom she always loved. Divorced Jeff, ended up marrying Alan, and still cheated with Rick. Those love triangles were more of a square. <laughs> Remember when Alan tried to kill Monica and Rick? Yeah, Monica, 
we see her as sweet old granny that owned that house, but she was something else. I mean, all of our characters had a past, you know. Yeah, she's no different from the rest of the gals back in the day. Uh, let's see. I think, am I going in the right direction? Hold on. Let me make sure. I think Robin is next. No, wait. Risky. Risky is next. No, wait. I'm backwards. Sorry, y'all. Sorry. I'm like looking at this email and trying to do this. Okay. Linda's next. Linda says that that's what I thought when I watched that, but didn't know why just that she was acting strange. Okay. Linda is responding to you girls are talking. I think I remember this conversation. Hold on. Give me one second because I want to get it all together. Okay. Patty is next, and then I'm going to go back. Patty says, when Holly first hit the scene and Robert took her to GH and Robert gave her his phone and told her to call Ethan, she claimed that he didn't answer the phone. Do you think she was pretending to call? Because I still believe that it's not Holly. I definitely think Holly is guilty, and she turned off Robert's phone. Linda is responding and says to you and says, that's what I thought when I watched, when I watched that, but didn't know why, just that she was acting strange. Me too, you, you guys. I couldn't put my finger on what exactly was going on with her. And Patty responds and says, at Linda, I found, I found it awfully strange as a mother why she's not mentioned about trying to reach out to him. I mean, I know this is a soap, but she's been there a few days and she's not even acknowledged his existence. I find that strange. Right. Like I said, I think Ethan is in danger and she has to um, cooperate with Victor or whoever to keep him safe. And we'll find that out soon, I'm sure. Linda White says, Laura say Valentine and Kevin. Laura is, Laura knows they're going to go back to get, now they're going to go back to get Charlotte and going back to Port Charles. And by the way, Laura was a nun and Kevin was the preacher. Yeah, we saw, um, we saw that in yesterday's episode. We don't talk about the two. Why when Valentine and Laura knocked that man out, they lingered and talked for so long? Because like Captain said, he was supposed to wait in the car. They took too long. Okay, Linda's going to end off this comment video. I'm going to work on another one and do the recap for Monday and Tuesday because I'm kind of early today. So I'm going to do that now. Thanks for listening to me, Jan Hands, and I'll catch you guys in a minute.